the 2017 Missouri High School Wrestling State Championships were simply historic for Kansas City area programs. In Class 2, the team race we saw Oak Grove tack their program one notch higher than any other one that had come before. The Panthers put seven wrestlers onto the podium and a trio in black and orange into the finals, with sophomore Tyler Kerr taking home the title at 220 pounds and senior Connor Brown dominating his way to the 120 pound championship. His fourth straight title win, becoming the 26th ever to do it in Missouri high school history and the third ever for the Panthers. I got the major, uh, my coaches told me, you know, it's sealed up, it's done, and uh, I still think it hasn't registered in my mind, either one of them, so uh, I'd give it till it's about tomorrow, maybe even Monday, I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna enjoy it. As Oak Grove was hoisting their 17th team title, Staley was celebrating their first. The Falcons snagged the first team title in program history, winning class four by 14 points over Christian Brothers College. The Falcons brought 13 wrestlers to Columbia with five of them reaching the podium and junior Zach Elam returning to the finals mat. Elam repeated as champion, winning the 195 pound title and putting an exclamation point on Staley's big weekend. This is what we can do and you know, we've only been in school for what, nine years? So, you know, we got a long road ahead of us to get to more and I'm excited for next year. While no area program took home the championship in Class 3, the KC Metro area was well represented with teams placing in five of the six top spots. Belton finished in sixth as the Pirates claimed a pair of champions in Braden Bradley and Robert Weber at 106 and 152 pounds respectively. Black County snagged fifth place as a team as PC touted two champions, Cody Fippen at 113 pounds and Casey Jumps at 220 pounds. Grain Valley grabbed a team trophy as the Eagles put five on the medal stand, with Wolfgang Clapper, Tristan Lindberry, and Ralph Hernandez finishing as runner-up. Carney finished third as a team with a trio of Bulldogs making it to the finals. Junior Clayton Singh took home his third straight individual state title with a 120-pound championship. He'll go for history and his fourth straight next year. Smithville's rally in the finals propelled the Warriors to a second place finish in the team race. Smithville took home gold at 138, 160, and 195 pounds with championships by Alex Rivera, Austin Pirtle, and Jacob Boyd. Rivera and Boyd collecting their second individual titles. After last year, winning state, that was awesome. We get bumped up to class three. We wanted to prove um, there's a lot of people doubting that we weren't we weren't the real deal coming up this year um, knocking off a couple of good knocking off a couple of really good teams um, take a second we showed that we showed that we were the real deal. Individual honors were bountiful for area wrestlers. Liberty had a pair of freshman champions as Jeremiah Reno finished his season unblemished with a 106 pound title and Graydon Penner at 145 who upset a nationally ranked wrestler to grab his class four title. It was the first time Liberty had multiple winners since 2002. Cameron Valdivias became Rockhurst's first ever two-time champion, winning the 126 title, ending his senior season at 45 and two. Kansas City had a pair of champions at 170 pounds. In class four, Devin Winston was Park Hill's lone champion. The sophomore wrapped up his season at 43 and one for the Trojans. In class three, Otis Peeler took home the title for Raytown South, going undefeated and giving the Cardinals their first individual winner in 16 years. I humbled myself the whole the whole season, you know, uh, dreamed about it all year. You know, it's just something I wanted and I went out there and go get it. So, I mean, I'm pretty proud of myself. Undefeated season, it's just amazing, man. I dreamed about this a lot. In class one, Brett Campbell will forever be remembered as Summit Christian's first individual champion. The junior's two to one decision in the finals sealed his perfect season at 56 and 0 and gave the Eagles their golden victory. Feels great. Come up here and represent my school. Be the first undefeated state champion. It just feels great. Campbell wasn't the only first time winner from an area school. Deterian Richardson of Liberty North brought home a championship at 285 pounds in class four. The senior Eagles close win was emotional, causing Richardson to celebrate with anyone near, coach or official. I'm very excited. I'm very happy. I can't stop smiling. Uh, my shoulder's messed up, but we'll deal with all that later. It's a beautiful feeling. My mom got off work in time enough to come. School's gonna be crazy going home, so I'm just very excited. So happy to actually finish and come through for my coaches and my school. Coming from last year to fourth place to being a champ, it's a beautiful feeling. I was happy to do it for my family, my friends, and everybody back at home. Over the three-day tournament, there were 18 area champions crowned, with six local teams finishing in the top four and eight finishing in the top 10. 
From Mizzou Arena, Kyle Haas for Spectrum Sports.